good afternoon. How are you? And I'm back. Again, I'm Rochelle and uh, I am a home-based online English tutor in Rare Job. And in this video, guys, I'm going to share yung workplace ko. So, in my previous video, um, nakita nyo yung, ano, yung working space ko dati. And that was my, that was actually my old apartment. Pero ngayon, lumipat na kami and I had to change my workplace para at least ma-minimize yung noise kasi medyo ma maingay dito kasi um, malapit siya lang diyan sa ano sa highway and may mga malalaking buildings beside the or beside the apartment pero um, I'm going to share yung cubicle ko, yung working space ko para at least baka makatulong, baka makakuha din kayo ng tips and pwede nyo ring gawin at home para ma-minimize yung noise natin or para mas maging comfortable kang magtrabaho. Okay, so let's start. And okay, so this is my cubicle. Okay. So this is the door. Oh, ganyan siya. Okay. <laughs> okay, so ganyan. Okay, so this is my working space. Okay, so nakikita niyo diyan mag magulo siya. So this is a realistic Ano, um, cubicle tour. Okay, so, isa-isahin natin. So, ma ma ano lang siya, maliit lang siya na space. O, ganyan lang siya. Okay, so, this is just a very small space. And, ganyan yung, yung likod. So, ito yung upuan. Okay, dito ako, yung nakaupo. Okay, so, ganyan siya. And, ito yung background ko. Ito yung likod ko, if I'm taking my class. Okay, let me just close it. Nakita nyo na to guys, yung background ko sa mga previous videos ko. So, ito yung background ko pag nagbibideo ako. So, ganyan siya. Ito yung background ko rin pag nagkaklase ako. Okay? So, this is the door. Dalawa siya. Dalawang door ito. Pero, sinara ko tong isa para hindi siya nag-open. Pero, ito yung, na, ito yung binubuksan ko pag lumalabas ako. Okay, so this is the first part. And then, ganito yung background ko. So, pwede naman siyang mag-background ng ganito if you're having your class. As long as plain lang siya. Hindi yung madaming color. Ganyan. So, this is okay, I think. Wala pa naman akong na-re-receive na reklamo or report from my students or from Rare Job too. Anyway, um, sa taas nito, okay, so you will see this. It's a, yung noise cancelling foam ito na in order ko sa Shopee because it helps to minimize the noise. So, ganyan. Nilagay ko lang siya sa taas kasi at least pantulong siya, ba? So, tinatamtaks na lang siya o tinatamtaks na lang. Um, so, ganyan yung aking uh, taas, yung taas ng aking cubicle. Okay? So, next that I'm going to show you guys here, okay, so this is everything. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to show you my working space. Okay, so first is, of course, this is my water. So, kailangan ko ng water every day. This is what I use. And this is also where I put my coffee pag nagkakape ako habang nagkaklase. Um, nilalagay ko dito para hindi ma mabasa itong wallpaper at saka para hindi lang gamin kasi okay and this is my mini fan oh yon it's it helps me kasi syempre nasa loob ako ng cubicle di ba so kailangan meron akong fan kasi minsan mainit siya dito mainit dito so if you're planning to do this too at home kung gusto niyo ding magpatayo ng ganito i think you need to buy a mini fan so this is um, naghanap talaga ako ng ultra silent sa or quiet sabi niya quiet fan so this is worth um, 300 uh, no no 499 pesos sa Shopee I ordered this sa Shopee because it's not so loud hindi it's not so noisy and uh, malakas naman yung hangin niya this is number 1 pag ina number 2 medyo maingay na siya ayun oh, di ba medyo maingay na siya pag number 2 lalo na pag number 3 Okay, so that's number three. Rechargeable siya. It really helps. So, dito ko siya nipinapuesto para saktong sa sakto siya sa akin. Okay? And then, this is of course my laptop. This is what I use. And I'm using HP. 
So, yun. Wala akong pasok ngayon. So, naka-off siya. Kasi it's my day off. So, I decided to share yung yung working space ko sa inyo. Okay, okay next. Beside my laptop. This is, this is my laptop. I also have a mouse pad. Kasi ito yung kalaban natin. Minsan, pag matagal na tayong nag-work, masakit dito. Masakit dito banda. So, I have to use a mouse pad. And I think everyone needs to use a mouse pad. And this is where I put my phone. Okay, so if my important tawag or text, syempre naka-silent siya pag nagka-klase ako. Pero pag may important text, at least makikita mo yung ano, yung magiilaw siya para after yung klase, pwede mo siyang i-check. So, so beside this, meron akong sticky notes. I love sticky notes kasi madami akong mga nakakalimutan. So, I have to use sticky notes. And, meron pa akong ibang kulay dito, pero nakatago na sila doon banda. Here. Okay? So, para, kasi kulang yung space natin. Limited lang yung space. Very, very maliit lang tong cubicle natin. So, we have to maximize the space. And then, beside this is uh, eto, dito ko nilalagay yung mga pens. Kasi, I really love writing. May mga, sabi ko nga, medyo makakalimutin ako. So, I have to make sure that um, pag, na, pag may naalala ako, isusulat ko sila agad. Para at least, hindi ko na makalimutan. And of course, I'm also using highlighters. So, ito, mga ginagamit ko. Pag, kunyari, may mga kailangan akong gawin, ganyan, o kailangang bilhin, ganyan. So, ito yung sinusulat ko. And then, I, I'm sorry, ito yung ginagamit ko to cross them out or to check na nag, nagawa ko na yun or nabili ko na yung bagay na yun. Ganon. Especially if importante siya. And next is, of course, this is the picture of me and my son. Ito ang picture namin na nakalagay siya, na, na nakalagay dito lang sa aking harap here. I want to see it every day. So, gusto ko nakikita ko lagi yung picture na yan because it inspires me to work harder and uh, to be more patient, to be more, uh, to be thankful sa everyday life natin. Okay, so that's it. And this is where I put my highlighter. Dito lang siya. So, magulo, di ba? Super gulo. Magulo lang siya. Pero this is uh, life. Hindi naman lagi maayos yung bahay natin. So, yun, medyo magulo lang siya. Pero, inaayos-ayos ko naman. And of course, one of the most important things that tutors have with them is lipstick. So, this is a red lipstick, matte lipstick from Ever Bilena. I use this when I have my class. So, I, gusto ko talaga red. Kasi, gusto ko, kasi syempre, pag nag-video ka, pag uh, nag-video call ka, iba yung reflection niya sa iyo. Eh. Iba yung reflection nun sa kabila. So, I want to make sure na nakikita na naka-lipstick ako, nakaayos ako while I'm having my class. Para at least, kasi you know, for Japanese people, well, I'm not sure if this is true, but I heard that it's very important. It's, it's a sign of respect. If you are going to wear a little bit of makeup, or lipstick pag kausap pag may kausap ka for example especially if it when it comes to business and of course I'm a business tutor so I usually teach business people so I have to always make sure that I look good and professional so this is what I use eh uh, meron pa akong ibang lipstick pero ito yung ginagamit ko pang nagkaklase ako and of course mirror I have a mirror here ito lang siya nakaganyan lang siya lagi because I want to see myself gusto ko nakikita yung sarili ko na habang nag, nagtuturo ako. I think this is very common. A lot of you are doing this too, di ba? Gustong-gusto niyo yung may salamin kayo dito. And I love pink, if you notice. I really love pink. So, mostly na mga gamit ko, pink sila. And I have efficacent oil. Kasi, minsan, sumasakit yung ulo ko. Kasi, sometimes I work longer. And, you know, pag nakaharap ka sa laptop lagi, medyo sumasakit yung ulo. So, I need this extreme siya because nakakatulong talaga siya pag pinahid ko na siya sa dito sa sentido ko maya maya mag, gumagagaan naman yung pakiramdam ko so it makes me feel better next we have alcohol so this is very important nowadays kahit na nasa bahay ka you have to make sure na meron tayong alcohol okay so there and next is uh, Okay, so dito, I have my wallet. Okay, so dito ko nilalagay yung wallet ko. So, nakalagay lang siya dito. 
And okay, so next, these are the one of the most important. These are some of the most important things I own. So mahilig talaga ako sa notebook because I love writing. As I've mentioned, pag may nalala ko, sinusulat ko siya sa notebook. And eto din. So I have two notebooks here. Okay, so here, so I use both of them. And I also have bond paper here. So, meron akong white paper in case na may mga gusto kong isulat. And of course, yung mga ito, yung mga sinusulat ko, mga reminders, ganyan. So, ayan. And of course, I also have notebooks here, mga old notebooks na, na nagagamit ko. Pero, importante yung mga details na nandito. So, I keep them here. And I put them here para hindi ko sila makalimutan. Okay? And of course, one of the most important things that we own as um, English tutors is yung ilaw natin. So, as you've noticed, ganito nga yung cubicle ko, di ba? Wala siyang ilaw sa taas. So, this is where I put my light. Okay? So, ganyan siya. Para siyang eto oh, na uh, ganito siya uh, and it's color pink hindi ko alam kung nakikita niyo siya ayan so this is actually what i use when i'm having my class actually hindi siya nakaharap sa akin kasi masakit siya sa mata so hindi ko siya hinaharap sa akin hindi siya nakaganyan usually nakatayo lang siyang ganyan <laughs> so baliktad siya di ba tinatayo ko siyang ganyan para hindi masyadong masakit sa mata if i'm having my class and it, pangit kasi pag yung ilaw talagang tutok na tutok sa iyo ang lapit niya sa akin so i have to um put it upside para ano para hindi siya direct direct hindi yung direct sa akin yung light so i i do it that way Okay, so I bought it sa Shopee din. It's worth 85 pesos, I think. Yeah, so sa mga gusto dyan, pwede kayong bumili. And of course, as you can see, may mga ano ako dito. So, mga wire, of course. This is very, very important. And this is very common kasi, of course, we're using a laptop. And then my light. Tapos yung, yung cord ng ating ating uh, internet. So, this is the LAN cable of my internet connection. Itong yellow na to. Um, ito yung charger ng phone ko. I have to put it here para pag nalobat ako, ito charge ko na lang. Hindi na ako kailangan lumabas. And of course, this is the charger of my laptop. So, nakahang, nakahang lang sila kasi nga limited yung space dito sa cubicle ko. Very, very limited lang siya. So, I have to find ways. Makailangan nating maging creative and mapamaraan para... You know, para magkasya yung magkasya yung space mga sa mga gamit natin. Ako lang yung ginamit ko. So, that's okay. We don't need to be very, very maarte sa mga bagay-bagay. So, ganyan talaga yung mga realistic na nangyayari sa mundo. Hindi lahat socialin. Ganyan. So, as for me, I'm a simple person. So, ganun. Nakahang lang yung mga yan. And of course, one of the most important things I own is a calendar. So, um, as I've mentioned in my previous videos, I have to all, I, I always have a calendar. Why? Because I have to make sure that nakaschedule lahat, lahat yung gagawin ko. So, gusto ko maging productive lagi. Ayokong nawi-waste yung time ko. So, nilalagay ko dyan yung lahat-lahat ng mga kailangan kong gawin. Mga kaya may sticky notes ako. So, ini-stick ko lang dyan kung, kung kailan ko dapat gawin yung bagay na yun. So, I always have it there. And sometimes, I forget the date. So, I have to put it there para kitang-kita ko talaga siya. And of course, one of the most important things too is of course, my rosary. So, I have a small rosary here. And uh, nilagay ko sa harap para before I actually, before I start my classes in the morning and before I sleep at night I have to say a little prayer and yun I, I think that's very very important too for everyone and I think everyone is doing that so yun nakalagay siya dyan sa harap ko yan so the, the, yun yung pwesto niya okay yun and of course this is my headset so nakahang din siya dyan lansa pako lansa sa Ilocano <laughs> so pako siya naka ano lang siya dyan na, pa, kasi Ang headset natin, kailangan alagaan natin. So, one of my tips, kaya medyo madaling, madaling masira yung mga headset natin, it's because nakalagay, nakalapag lang siya sa kung saan, di ba? Kaya minsan na, ano natin sila, na nabubunggo, minsan nga nauupuan, ganyan. So, we have to make sure that our headsets are safe because it's one of the most important things that we have or we need when we are having our classes. So, ang headset ang isa sa mga pinaka-importante.
Okay? So, we have to make sure na maganda yung place niya, safe siya. And of course, um, kung hindi mo naman kailangan yung laptop mo sa bed mo or hindi mo kailangan i-transfer, i-move-move, ganyan, I think it's better if you just put it there, yung hindi mo siya trina-transfer, hindi mo siya, hindi mo tinatanggal yung, ano, yung headset mo kasi yun yung isang dahilan kung bakit nasisira yung headset, especially if your headset is a USB port headset. So, medyo sensitive sila pag lagi mong tinatanggal. So, like for me before, because I didn't have a fixed working space doon sa old, old uh, pa apartment namin. So, ang ginagawa ko every night, every time I sleep, I have to remove the headset and then get my, my laptop inside my room. So, hindi kasi siya permanent na working space ko yun kasi... Uh, may mga kaiba akong kasama sa bahay. So, hindi siya yung private place ko ganyan. But now, since I have my own workplace in my um, in my apartment now, uh, so, hindi ko na kailangan tanggalin. So, before, parang nagagamit ko lang yung isang headset for 6 months. Masisira na siya agad. Pero now, I've been using it for more than 1 year. I think 1 year and... Um, parang 2 months ganyan na siya sa akin and still work it's still working very very well so it's still working fine so yun yung mga yun ang isa sa mga na-observe ko and um, I'm, I'm lucky I, I'm thankful na at least now it's it's um, working fine okay so that's it this is my cubicle very very simple guys um, we don't have to be very maarte or very magarbo masosyal ganyan sa ating working space as long as comfortable tayo Pwede pa natin pagandahin. Uh, it's just that yung sa akin nga ngayon, si syempre, naka-quarantine tayo. So, hindi tayo, hindi ako lumalabas. Pwede na lang ako importante pag mag-grocery. Pero hindi ako pumupunta sa ibang places to buy things na kailangan sa bahay or kailangan magpaganda, mag-decorate ng, ng cubicle or working space. Pero I'm, I'm going to do that. And hopefully, I can share um, in after this quarantine kung makabili na ako, tas ma-ano ko na siya, ma-decorate ko na siya ng mas maganda, yung gusto kong kulay talaga, or gusto kong design, then I'm going to share it with you guys. But yes, I just shared this with you because um, it might help, okay? Especially for those who are asking kung paano ba if maingay sa paligid, yes, you can do this. You can actually... Um, pwede kayo magpagawa ng cubicle tapos bili kayo ng ganyan oh, ng ano no, ng ano, soundproof na foam you can buy it sa online ganyan or kung may kakilala kayo na nagbibenta pwede rin, pwede rin namang egg tray pero ako mas prefer ko yung ganyan and actually it's really hard to find egg trays now kasi syempre quarantine nga so hindi ako makahanap so yun na yung binili ko I bought it online para at least diniliver na nila dito sa apartment okay so well that's it and you can do this too especially if may kasama ka sa bahay so as for me I live with my friend so para hindi naman siya naistorbo sa aking pagklase diba nasa isang room lang kami so at least parang meron na akong sariling space at saka hindi ko na siya naistorbo sa kanyang pagtulog if matutulog naman siya. Kasi syempre, we have to speak, we have to talk, and we have to laugh. Sometimes we have to smile with our students. We have to laugh or we have to uh, yeah, to be energetic, depende sa estudyante, ba So, gusto ko din magkaroon ako ng sarili kong space. And of course, yung hindi ako nakaka-istorbo sa ibang tao. Well, that's it guys. I hope this very simple video helps and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye!